Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I know I've made videos like this in the past, but since I've improved a lot, I think I can go over it a little bit better now and explain things a little bit better. So um, we'll get right into it. So the key things you need to improve instantly in Brawl, if you're at the lower ranks, would be baiting out attacks, whether it's with movement or dodge or like an attack that they can't really punish. Like for example, like if you did this, like if they're there, they're not punishing you, right? So you can like, you can like dash jump and then dodge back. And then if they whiff an attack, you punish. But just baiting out attacks, making them miss, and then punishing. And this is for people who don't attack, um, like, just randomly, right? So, like, if, if he's not, like, just throwing out random attacks, you have to make him miss an attack, you know? And you do this by pressuring him and then, like, baiting it out with an option. Um, if they're just, like, attacking without, like, really lining it up or, like, pressuring you or anything, just back up and then punish. This is huge, and people and even Diamond don't really back up and punish enough like you have this whole stage to run um once people are both not attacking that's when you can apply pressure but if they're just randomly attacking just back up punish and make sure you're optimizing your punishes make sure you're not just like let's say they whiff in front of you don't just side light if you have the chance to get like a delay sir or something um but yeah you you want to pressure out attacks if they're not attacking and you have a bunch of options you can you can do the dash jump and then dodge back you can dash at them and wait and see if they like jump or if they stay on the ground if they dodge you kind of want to pay attention to how they react to what you're doing when you pressure on the stage so if, if they're jumping when you pressure them with a dash then you can like dash and then jumps there um so yeah that's like the first thing it's just making sure you're hitting optimal punishes and not just randomly attacking just back up punish if they're randomly attacking and then if they are playing scared and they're in the corner you pressure them and then you apply pressure correctly you can use options that will cover both the ground and the air like i don't know for example this um because some people like to short hop and then like jump around the corner and you can cover jump and grounded moves with like the dash jump fastball recovery for example on sword it's a little easier with like weapons that cover more of like an area like i don't know for example axe side light for example um if they're just starting their jump when you side light, it'll still catch, and it'll catch them on the ground too. Um, and if they're like dodging, for example, you pressure them and they spot dodge, all you have to do is wait, and then after they spot dodge, you get a full punish, right? So that's the first thing. Work on that. The next thing I would say is probably paying attention to how your opponent plays. Don't just randomly do things. Um, keep note of what they're doing. Like, when you apply pressure, if they are jumping every time, you know how to punish that. Um, when, when you hit them, where do they dodge? When they miss, do they attack again? Do they jump? Do they dodge? So for example, if I miss sword side light, I might end light after. A lot of people in the lower ranks will just attack and then attack again. So this is something that's pretty common. So you can, if you're not in like range to punish the sword side light, wait for him to miss the end light. Like stay out of the end light's range, but like stay close enough to where you can punish the end light and then punish. Um, so just paying attention to your, how your opponent's playing is like really huge because once you catch on to how they're playing, it should be like a free win, especially at lower ranks when they don't adapt. So they'll just keep doing the same thing. Um, so you kind of want to pay attention. Um, it's it's something that is like important in every rank. So if they're double whiffing, punish that. If they're jumping after they're whiffing, maybe when you see them with side light, you can dash jump stare them because you know they're going to jump. Um, if you know they're going to run away, you get free stage control and then you can pressure them from there. Um, if you know they're gonna run away, you can also over like you can extend with a move. So for example, if you're like within range, you can like you can like chase them, right? Um, certain stuff is really hard to react to. So if they're if they're running, for example, they miss side light and then they run, I could maybe like get a side sig in. Um, it's a little committal, but if you have the like hard read on them because you know how they're gonna play, uh, you can definitely take advantage of that. So the next thing is gonna be catching landings. There's plenty of people who play super floaty and just jump around. Um, there's usually two pe two ways people like to land, eh, like three. They'll use all their jumps and then come down with an attack. They'll use all their jumps, then dodge and come down with an attack, or they'll just randomly come down. Um, the first two are pretty easy to deal with. If they use all their jumps and then come down, you just wait until they're out of jumps, and then you can either hit them on their way down by like jumping up and hitting them, or you can wait till they're landing on the ground and then like catch their landing with a grounded attack, such as like Sword of Delight, for example, or Sword of Side Light. Um, it depends on the situation, but... If they're right above you, for example, sword recovery would be better than waiting for them to come down. But if they're running from you, like they're running to the corner, then you're going to have to chase them and probably catch them with a grounded attack, which is alright too, because you get more damage. And if you catch them before they touch the ground with something like that, 
you can hit them off to the side with like delay Sarah, and then they don't have any jumps. They just get that one jump back, and you could probably confirm them off stage. Um, the one that gets hard to deal with is when they will mix it up and randomly come down um, with an attack without using all their jumps. So you kind of have to pay attention to the opponent, kind of just see how they land. Most people don't change this up either. And if they're the kind of player who lands after using their dodge, that's huge. You can get like a full combo. Like if they use their dodge and I get a Qatar delay, I get a full combo off of that, you know? All right. Um, last thing I would say is not overextending on hit. Once they get to the higher health, like, um, for example, you get them to like this health. Um, when you do a move, like, I don't know, such as sword and light, right? You can't just like, attack after, right? Like if you go like this, you're going to get punished. So when you hit a move like this, you kind of just dash, take stage control and reset neutral, right? <clears throat> you aren't going to just go for constant moves at this health because yeah you could hit them but if they just play patient and wait you're just getting punished here because like you're out of range to attack them right so off of things like this it's fine but when you hit like um like an end light here you just dash take stage control reset and then even at low health like this right if they wake up it's really easy to read by just waiting you don't have to constantly attack you know so for example if they do this he misses and then you punish, right? So mix up between going for your reads and like backing up after hitting them, right? Like you can just back up and then punish or like if you're out of range from them already, like for example, this, like he has nothing in range of me, you can back up and punish. And a lot of people do wake up off of attacks, even in the higher ranks. You kind of just have to mix up reading it and things like that. Because like, if you look right here, if I go for an instant attack, he can beat me if I do the wrong option, right? Like I go for a certain read. So just backing up is one way to deal with it really easily. And then you can punish it from there. Um, another way to read wake ups, obviously, is to just keep attacking. But it, it's more committal to keep attacking because if they dodge and you attack, then you get punished. But if you back up and they attack, then you win, and you aren't putting yourself in a committal spot because let's say you back up and they dodge. Okay, you still have stage control. You just reset neutral and you're adding advantage, right? So that's definitely very important to add to your gameplay, especially in lower ranks. They will wake up or dodge in a lot. And you can cover both, right? Like, if I stand still here, off of um, off of my delight there, right? He can't wake up on me. And then if I uh, if I summon a dodge in, it's gonna be he didn't. Oh, I set it to jump. Um, if I set it to dodge in, and I go back down, I can still read that on reaction, right? So you can cover both dodge in and wake up on reaction. And then if they dodge away or up or whatever, you just reset neutral and it's fine still. Oh yeah, and stop throwing yourself off stage and games you're winning. I see too many players that just go off stage for no reason. If you're winning, especially, there's no reason like to just risk your lead off stage. Like, you can just hold the edge guard right here and then like keep your lead going. You know, um, I only suggest going off stage when they like. Let's say, for example, I hit him off stage with something like this. Right, he has to use his options to get back, and then he's out of jumps. So. That's a good time to confirm an offstage kill, but don't just throw your lead offstage by going for something and then dying at an early health. It's just not worth it. It's too risky. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will be doing Great Sword ranked soon, like you guys asked for. Um, I just haven't been in the mood to queue rank lately, to be honest, while recording. Uh, let me know if you guys would prefer live commentary or me going over it after, like a recorded, like maybe a replay, for example. I could go over a replay and like kind of explain my thought process on what i'm doing things like that <clears throat> so let me know peace guys